absolutely not. But you could go ahead, you can just put a, a, a beautiful ribbon around them like and tie them like a bouquet or cellophane if you have it. Or you can make a container, a fabulous design container. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ideas. Number one, you can paint your container just with acrylic paint. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. This was done just like this, stippling, stippling, right? You can do that, that's great. You can grab a can, okay? This is the first layer. I would do multiple layers on this can, okay? You can grab a jar. This is an old relish jar. We just made tuna fish, so we kept, we're keeping every jar, okay? Or you can grab a mason jar. This is a mason jar that we did that we had and so we have that. So here are the things that we can do. We're gonna decorate our jars. How can we decorate our jars? Well, you can put glue and just glitter your jars and put a beautiful rhinestone or ribbon around them, right? You could just do glitter jars. The glue is on the inside and we just shake around the glitter inside, okay? Some of you I know are anti-glitter. Okay, I'm not offended. We can use tissue, and that's what we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do the tissue jars. So this is really cool. They will have it forever. And you can even put a light in here. If you put like one of those LED lights or twinkle lights in here, it'll glow. And it'll be like a stained glass effect, which is super cool, especially since we're using such colorful flowers, right? So that's what we are going to do. A can, a jar, something. Um, we're gonna take our tissue and all you're gonna do is take your tissue, cut it in strips, right? Just tissue paper and everybody has old tissue hanging around and you're just gonna cut it in small little strips so that we have a lot to pull from. It doesn't have to be all the same. In fact, I don't want them all the same. Some can be triangles, but I just use little cubes, just little cubes. Oh, so there are, these are all the colors I had rolling around my house. Now, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need our tissue and we're gonna use a thing called Mod Podge. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make homemade Mod, Pod, Mod Podge. I used to say Mod Podge. I didn't know it was Mod, M-O-D, Podge. I was like, Mod Podge, I need some Mod Podge. Well, this basically comes in a gloss or a mat, but let's say you don't have this and you probably don't have this, then you can make your own homemade Mod Podge just by using your simple white glue, your, your Elmer's glue and water. So basically here's the recipe. I'll put it the link below too. You're just gonna take one part um, water to two parts of glue, which is what I did in here. And I made my own, uh-oh, it's stuck. I made my own homemade Maj Paj. And I just shook it up in a um, mason jar. So one part water to two parts glue. You can also use, you know how sometimes the glue is like right here? You can just add a little bit more water to it and shake it up, okay? So we've got our plate of, um, our plate of tissue. And then I'm gonna get, use another plate to go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna have my strong son. Oh no, I did it, I did it, I'm strong and powerful. Okay, I'm gonna open up my little homemade Mod Podge here. Actually, I'm just, yeah, I can use it just like that. You're also gonna need a damp towel because it's gonna get a little sticky. My hands are very messy. All right, so let's go ahead and take our jar. We're gonna need a little sponge brush. You can use an old paint brush that you don't care about getting all messed up. Like, you know, these little cheapy weepies that come in all the art kits, you can use that too. I like this better. So we're gonna take and dip into our homemade Mod Podge. And you're going to evenly from the top to the bottom, just give this a nice thick coat straight down. Like I said, whenever you're working on a project, try to protect the furniture. 
so that your furniture does not look like my furniture, which has paint and glue because my life is a walking art project. Ha ha ha. Okay, they say creativity is messy and I am very creative. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go all the way around my fabulous glass container, getting that nice and coated from the top to the bottom, just like so. All right, let's put this to the side. Now, here's where it gets a little sticky. You're gonna take your pieces of tissue paper and you're going to just start placing them in a design. Stick, stick, stick. And they can overlap each other. In fact, that is desired. Overlap, press, press, press. You should probably start from the top. Just gonna start from the top. And that one's too big. I want it to look super cool and balanced in color. So I'm not gonna put all the pink in the same place or the purple in the same place. I'm just gonna start to balance my color and it's gonna stick to your fingers. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it is. And you're gonna be like, get off, get off my fingers. Okay, here we go. You see, you see the situation? That's what's gonna happen. Guess what, I'm going in. Boom, that's how you handle that. Uh-huh, get in there. And then I'm just gonna go on top. And we're going to go on top of this with another coat. Just to give it that finish and make sure that it's not delicate and it doesn't get ripped. Right? I love it. And you can do many layers if you want. I'm just gonna do one. Because if you want it to put like a light inside, like a little night light, you totally could. You could put one of those like LED lights. I'm trying to get a different color. So I might do some red. I'm just throwing it on there. And it's gonna be so pretty. So pretty, it's gonna be so pretty, and your mama's gonna love it. Okay, so try to get it all sticking, and then we're gonna go on top of it to really make it stick. Mm hmm. Yes, and you can even tear some strips. Okay, it's, it, it needs some more color over here. You can tell it needs some more, like, boom. Here we go. Remember, go all the way up to the top. Now, you can trim this with some raffia, some ribbon, some rhinestones, some beads, some feathers, some pom-poms. I mean, go crazy. Well, don't go crazy. I mean, put your own fabulous creativity swerve to it, right? That is what art is all about, is putting your own style to it. Whatever you are feeling in the moment, you want it to have your good energy in it, right? So when she gets it, she feels the love. The love. It's all about the love. 
I will not sing because I cannot, but can you feel the love? Is that from Lion King? Did you guys see Disney? What was that one that they did? The Disney um, sing along online. That was pretty cool. I wish I could sing. That would be so awesome. I want to be Mr. G. All right. Guess we can't have all the talents in one thing, huh? Okay. Well, maybe we could. We could be. We could all live in a Beyonce world. <laughs> Right? Triple threat. Okay. Or J Lo world. Okay. So now I've got all of my knickknacks and patty wax. Now I'm going to give it one more squeezy like this before I start doing the hokey pokey with it. That's looking good. Now I'm going to take my, what is it called? Homemade mud pudge. I'm going to do the dip. Okay. I got it on my. And then I'm going to ever so gently. Because you don't want to lift up the pieces. So you're going to stipple. You're just going to stipple. Put, 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 put. Okay. Get it. If the edges start coming up, you go, mm mm. Better lay down. Cooperate with me, people. All right. So I'm going, and this is going to dry clear. That's the beauty of the Mod Podge. The Mod Podge. It's going to dry clear. It's awesome. Here we go. You want to, don't want to put it on too thick or too thin, but a nice coat. And if you're impatient like me, you can put it outside to dry, or you can put a fan on it. It's been hot lately, so maybe you have a fan. I don't know. And then, of course, hey, should I glitter this, guys? Do you see my glitter? I don't know if you see glitter. I have a whole glitter bar. Okay. Now, what if you don't have tissue paper? Well, you can paint this. You can use your Sharpies. You can use a Sharpie marker and actually paint on glass to give it a nice stained glass look. Yep, sure can. That is amazing. Okay, I'm happy. All right, do I have any glitter? No? Don't have any glitter. Well, this one's going to be no glitter. But you could do the salt and pepper glitter on it if you wanted to add a little razzmatazz. See, this one is dry. Okay, I put a nice thick coat. And again, you can see through it, right? You, if you have any little rhinestones, you could put rhinestones on here. You could dust ever so gently a little glitter on the tips of your flowers. Yes, if you were doing a can... This is the first coat. You would definitely need a second coat of um, tissue paper to thicken that up. So that is how you put your beautiful custom design vase, vase, flower holder. All right, until the next video.